Once you gain access to Credo Reference from the library's website, you will see that you are searching a collection of over 3 million full text articles from about 1,200 titles. Now, what we mean by a title is an encyclopedia, typically, sometimes a dictionary. So you'll be searching for reference materials in this particular online resource. You'll see that you can browse by subjects down below. So they have psychology, philosophy, education, history, health, medicine, social sciences, etc. Or you can search, which is what most people will do. You do have an option for an advanced search. If you were to click the advanced search, all that does is it gives you a few more boxes to type in and a better way to control your search. Most people, however, will start with the basic search box and they'll look for their topic. If you were to type in a topic like mythology, you'll see that it populates the search box with some alternatives. So you can have Greek mythology, Norse, Hindu, Roman, Celtic, Egyptian, etc. But if I just do a general search for mythology, I'll pull up a combination of all of those subtopics. You'll see that we have a basic entry here from a Chambers Dictionary of the Unexplained. This is sort of a general overview of what mythology means as a, as a word or as a subject. To the right, you'll see this is a concept map. And what's nice about this is that there are other topics related to mythology that you may want to focus down into. So for instance, Joseph Campbell is a, uh, a scholar who talks a lot about mythology, has written many books about it. Uh, the Golden Bough or Greek mythology, these are all separate topics, but you can click on those and it will redo your search. So clicking on this uh, concept map will give you other ways to build your search and other concepts that are related to each other. If you look below, you'll see that we have options to filter. So you can still filter by collections or by types of media, uh, type of information, subjects, etc. And we also have a list of results. In this case, we have almost 17,000 results. Many of the first entries are going to be shorter. This is a 618 word entry from the unabridged encyclopedia with Atlas and Weather Guide, sort of a generalized encyclopedia. If you scroll down below, you'll see Columbia Encyclopedia, also another general encyclopedia. And with a general encyclopedia, you're going to get a little bit of information about a lot of topics. What you're really looking for is you want a lot of information about a very narrow topic. So you want an encyclopedia. For instance, this one, mythology, is from a source called the classical tradition. This is a reference source that is going to focus on classical uh, topics, including mythology and other Greek and Roman uh, topics. This entry here is 3,700 words. It's a far greater entry than one that's only 618 words. So you can kind of gauge the length of your results, uh, the quality of your sources, by checking out how long they are. The Oxford Companion to Classical Civilization sounds like a really good source, and I can click on this to get the full entry. You'll also notice that this has been tagged. You have a little uh, tag icon there. It says, with Greek mythology, mythology, religion, mythology, Zeus, and Roman mythology. So these are the subtopics. That's where the mapping comes from that I mentioned before. If we take a look at this particular entry, it will pull up more information about it. It will have the full in, uh, entry here. It will highlight other items within this encyclopedia that are linked. So if you want to learn more about, you know, Hades, there's a whole entry on that. You'll see the asterisk there says it's a main entry. And you can read this particular one. And down at the bottom, you'll see that it has the author. You'll see that it has a, a record URL. This is a static URL that allows you to go right back into this particular source. And if you notice all the way back up at the top, you have options to save, share, or you could cite this. When you click on the site option, you will see that it, in this particular case, defaults to APA, which is a, a, a version that a lot of places use. But typically, if you're thinking about the humanities, uh, you're going to want to use MLA. If you're talking about history, you might use Chicago, Harvard, etc. When you see that citation, you can select it all, or you can click on this copy button. Either way, if you, if you select it all and do your control C on your keyboard, that'll work, or you can click on this copy, and then you can paste it into a Word document. That is how you cite from that source. If you would like additional entries from this particular encyclopedia or this companion, you would click on that, and it would show you all the entries within that particular reference source. So we have, in this case, is a second edition. It's a rather, uh, pre it's pretty big companion here. The Oxford Companions are very, very good at what they do. They, can, they focus in on a particular topic, in this case, classical civilization. And there are 734 articles within this particular reference work.
You'll see the uh, table of contents are down below. You can also search within um, Credo again for other topics if you want to explore other resources. That's a general overview of Credo Reference. If you have any 